What's up guys, today I'm bringing you a little review of Pingai OS 12.04, so the long term long release, uh, I can't talk, but I'm just going to basically go over like what's in this operating system, and uh, what I'm using to record this is Kazam, I usually use FFmpeg to uh, screen cap on uh, Linux, but uh, having problems with it on this ping iOS and this is not in VirtualBox this is uh, actually installed on my uh, laptop which is a Core 2 Duo 2.4 gigahertz it's like four years old now it's it's okay <laughs> that's all I can say but uh, this is how it comes in this is fresh install I just finished installing it probably about 20 minutes ago and just finished updating um, but as you see here, you get Docky, and this is like, this is a uh, file manager, and these are, these hide, uh, I forget what it's called, but, oh, it's like Intelli, it's called like IntelliHide or something, where it, it hides if you want to put a menu over it, like, this will always be visible when I don't have something in front of it, but I forget what this uses. And use the Nautilus because uh, Ping iOS it's based on Ubuntu, which I feel like this is much better than Ubuntu. It's as far as for a new user because Ubuntu is much different than Mac and a lot very different than uh, Windows. So I mean. A Windows user or a Mac user is going to be really confused when they see Unity and this is much more comfortable I feel for someone um, this is a uh, Conky it uh, this isn't the default one this is a secondary one but the default one displays your public IP so I'm not going to be using that but gives you this nice Conky uh, program so you can like kill it uh, you can fix it like if uh, as you saw before that pick the background changed and it might freeze up and then you can remove it from startup it's got nice settings and then it comes with the default which is the one that I said displays a public IP and I don't want that showing on YouTube and then I got uh, this is the one I have is the gray theme but uh, let me go over what's all here it comes uh, with, well, as, as you saw that background change before, and that is because of this here, which, uh, I forget what this program is called now, let me look, is it Web Builder? I'm not sure, but click on this little camera, you go in Preferences, and you can tell it how often you want it to change, every one minute, one day, whatever, and then you can tell how long you want it because this program it downloads photos and uh, see that legs behind a little bit and then it resets but then if like you don't like a picture like this one so you don't like it just delete and it brings up the next one it's very nice that's just Kazam right there this got one workspace and as you open more things it will add another workspace Let's see this Firefox Let's see now there's two workspaces Cause this, uh, this is running GNOME 3 it's just completely uh, changed around so and then you got your normal time and that. This is a battery monitor, uh, wireless, and sound. This is a CPU usage and a network usage. And that's just this will give you um, like online accounts like uh, Ubuntu One, and I think it has another one. I forget what it is. But it's got system settings, advanced settings, and you got lock screen, log off, power off. This is additional drivers you want to install the uh, like drive, driver like I have a Radeon card it's like a 
3670 or something and if I want to install the proprietary do it this way but I'm I just stick with XOR because these ATI drivers suck um, this one works this one has never worked every time I've, ins I've tried to install it it fails I've tried to install it on Ubuntu 11.04, 11.10, and then now Ubuntu 12.04 and on this ping guy, and it has never worked. But uh, here's the menu up here, and that's a Cardapio menu. And uh, nice little thing. If you want to edit this, you right click, like right here by, up by the search box, and you go into preferences, or properties, I mean. And then you can edit it that way also with edit menus to change around the way like what you have in accessories you can change all that which is this is very much like uh, the menu editor for in other uh, programs all right and then uh, just go through what comes with this you got archive manager cardapio as I said conkey uh, you get docky, you get a disk utility, you get a search, which, which is nice about this Conky, or not Conky, Cardapio, you can type in anything like, you want Skype, oh, I should probably spell Skype right, type in Skype, and click on all, and there it is, right there, but also you can do, if you want a quick search, this is GNOME 3, click the Windows key, or it's called meta key or super key the one next to alt and there's also one on the right side but I'm on a laptop so I don't remember what that is but this brings it up and you can just, just type in searching uh, is G parted on this? yes it is um, and then also if this is a uh, like so you can select your different desktops like I'll show you I'll just open VLC, that'll be quick, and then, see I have that, and then I can go to the next one, like that. And, and then like if I have multiple things open, and just to do that I just click the Windows key again, or you just click on, uh, right there, on the window. And let's open the advanced settings real quick just so something will be open. Click that and then it shows both of them. Then you can go like this, drop that onto that one, or you can move it down on that one. Home 3 is nice, it, I don't prefer it. I mainly like using like open box just because it's so much faster, but. All right, let me go through again. And then you get to your normal terminal, which can't remember what that is now. It's probably GNOME Terminal. Yep, GNOME Terminal. And accessories. And you get like a notepad and a G-Edit for your, uh, it's like notepad, basically. And then games get, you just get the DLJ Game Manager and Play on Linux. Play on Linux is for playing, or well, yeah, playing uh, Windows games on Linux. I have gotten, like, uh, Diablo 3 working on this. Though my computer is kind of old to be running that, so I don't use it for playing games. I use my Windows uh, tower for that. And then graphics, you get the disk wrapper, document viewer. You get the whole LibreOffice suite, so you got LibreOffice Draw here. And then LRF viewer. Pinata, which is not really sure what that is. I've never seen that before. Rapid Photo Downloader. And you get Shotwell, which organ, which is like an organizer. You get a scan, and then yeah, here's Web Builder, which is this little thing that program I was talking about before. All right, and then uh, you get Deluge, which I I've heard is actually really good BitTorrent, and uh, you got a, de a desktop sharing program. You get Dropbox. Empathy, which I'm not really sure what that is. Chat on Google. Oh, it's like a IM program. I've never used that before. But you can, I guess, use it on Google Talk, Facebook, 
MSN, yeah. And then you get Firefox, um, GWiber, Mumble, PS3 Media Server, and you get Skype Reloaded, that is Skype 4.0, and you get Thunderbird, XIRC Chat, and as I said with Office, you get Calibre, Document Viewer, but you don't really even need that. Uh, because you have the whole LibreOffice suite, and you get a like a like a finance manager, which I've, I've never used that. And other you get a labeler. I'm not really sure <laughs> what you'd be using that for, but all right. And then you get Brazario, which I've used that. That's pretty good. Cheese, which is like for your webcam. Clementine. Oh, I didn't mean to click it. But that's like. Uh, uh, iTunes, I guess, how to explain it. It's just, uh, you can manage music in it. Yeah, here it is. You got your library, files, pull different stuff off the internet, your devices. I've never tried an iPod with Linux, so I'm not sure if Clementine will work with an iPod or not. All right, here's GTK Pod, so I'm guessing, yep, manage music and video on Apple iPod. So there you go. Uh, DVD allows to create videos. Okay, you can make that. Got Handbrake. Uh, this does not come stock on it. That's just what I'm using to record Kazam. Uh, you get Open Shot. You get Sound Recorder. VLC, which is pretty much play any any video file, audio file you can find. It's pretty good. And then you get the XBMC Media Center, which is pretty cool if you want to use it for like on a TV. If you want to hook like if you want to have this installed on like a tower and hooked up to a TV, it looks pretty cool for like a multimedia kind of thing. You can have it play music, videos, that kind of thing. You get a boot repair tool, boot up manager, departed, which uh, is for oops, sorry about that, which is for um. Partitioning and managing your uh, hard drive install release, which I'm surprised it's still on here. That's uh, just to install the program, install uh, Ping Guy. I'm surprised that's still in here. Uh, that just shows network information. Uh, can remove or packages. Samba. Samba is like is a program to help you with networking like if you're on a network like my home network my laptop is the only computer in my house that runs Linux all the other ones are Windows like our main my home main home computer my parents computer that has XP on it my tower has 7 my parents netbook has you know Windows 7 mobile I think is what it's called I don't know it's the like light version Software sources, you get the startup disk creator, which is cool. You can you can use that to either burn a disk image to a CD or to put it onto a, what do you call it, a flash drive. And then you get the Synaptic Package Manager, which is, that's really what you use to, uh, or what you should use to install programs. You get the Ubuntu Software Center. I don't really like it. It's kind of slow. I mean, it's good to browse, I guess, because it, it's it's nice the way it browses and you get your update manager windows wireless drivers if you really need a windows um, driver you get your advanced settings and then some account information uh, stuff globus configuration not really sure what that program is again desktop sharing uh, these are all basically settings in here so it's all system tools and then you got your disk usage analyzer, GNOME shell weather configuration. Um, I, that's probably for an applet down for down here. Um, got your system monitor, power and stati statistics, your main system settings, X term. What is this? Why PP? Oh, it's a PPA manager for downloading stuff. You get your universal access Orca. That basically will read the, the screen for you. If you uh, have to have trouble reading, and then you get Wine. Wine is a program used for installing uh, programs, such like if you wanted like Sony Vegas or After Effects or something like that, you might be able to get that to run in Wine. I've never tried it, 
but that's how I got Diablo 3 working is you install it through wine and then you have to like install it again in uh, or you get wine wine uh, is configured pretty well on here uh, stock and then you just use play on Linux also and you just have recent documents there what's cool also with this with Cardapio say you want to go to a website so you type in Google com and it's gonna search the web really fast and give you Google let's say Google Maps and boom brings you right to Google Maps I mean I don't know it's just my personal opinion but I feel like if you want a good distribution to switch or to, to like try switching from uh, Windows to Linux Pink iOS 1204 has got to be it. Um, what's really cool too is uh, because this is based on Ubuntu, it's got the really nice, really good installer, which makes it really easy if you want to dual boot. You pretty much just click an option and you will dual boot, or you'll it'll put you in, so then you will dual boot and it won't destroy your uh, your Windows. But uh, you will also need delete a section off your drive in Windows so I guess that does make it a little harder but all you gotta say is ping iOS 1204 check it out it's great distribution but thank you guys for watching if you like the video please like leave a comment if you have any questions have a great day